Hi there, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners. I'm going to share my favorite small space storage solution. So even if you're in a small space, you can stay organized. And if you're interested in getting and staying more organized, I highly recommend that you sign up for my free mini e-course all about how to stay organized. I think you'll find that even though it's a short course, it makes a huge impact on your life. And go ahead and click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. When it comes to organizing a small space, there's one thing you should always do first. That is declutter. I know I say this all the time. I might sound like a broken record, but I only say it because it's so important to start any organizing project with decluttering, but even more so if you have less space. Because once you get rid of an item, you never have to touch it again. And if you have less space to store things, you're going to need to get rid of things that aren't necessary. So you're left with only the things that you need and love. When you have a smaller space, you're gonna to need to take advantage of all the space that you do have. So one of my favorite ways to do that is with hooks on the wall. My favorite type of hook are command hooks where it doesn't actually damage the wall or the surface that you put it on. They're easy to put up, they're super easy to take down. And if you're renting a space and you can't nail or drill anything in, these are perfect solutions. So you can use them to hang backpacks, utility, step stools, coats, anything like that. And they will go up to holding 12 pounds. So I have a large utility hook that says it'll hold 12 pounds. So even our little step stool fits wonderfully on it. Next, take advantage of the space on the back of your doors. Either the doors leading into your bedrooms or if you have closet doors, go ahead and put something on there. So your options are shoe organizers. You can fit a lot in those and think outside the box. It doesn't have to hold just shoes. It can hold all sorts of other smaller items and then label it so you can easily find those smaller items. Alpha makes great over the door racks and there's other types of racks that you can use or even the over the door hooks are another option for like towels and robes and things like that. Make sure you're using the space that's under your bed to store items and make sure you put these in containers. Don't just stuff stuff under your bed because it's going to be really hard to get whatever's in the middle. You're going to forget that it even exists and it's going to get out of control. So instead, use containers that are specifically designed for under bed storage or smaller containers that you can stick under there and still easily access what's there. It's super important to use all your vertical space. So when you have shelves, make sure that you're using all of that space and stacking things as high as you can or make sure you're adding shelf that goes all the way up because that's a great way to reclaim some space. Use the tops of your cabinet. So if you don't have the cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling, a lot of times there's a gap between when the cabinet ends and the ceiling. And so go ahead and take advantage of that space for extra storage. You can put small kitchen appliances, or my favorite is to put things that are kind of pretty because you'll be able to see them. So like your nice decorative cake plate or something like that would be beautiful up there. And you can even add some ivy or something like that if you're concerned about how it looks. Make sure it still looks nice and decorative, but it can also serve to store things. Another place in your kitchen that you can reclaim space is the top of your refrigerator. Now, I wanna caution you because Looking at a refrigerator with stacks of stuff on it can be a little bit overwhelming. So one thing that can help is to actually install hanging shelves above your refrigerator if you don't already have a cabinet there. They're going to be a little bit harder to get to. You're going to have to get a step stool. But if you store things that you don't use very often but you still need, that would be a great place to put them. Make sure that you're using furniture that doubles as storage. So things like a storage ottoman or a decorative chest or something like that will be great for letting you store more items, but it just occurs naturally in the furniture that you need anyway. I hope these tips have helped you to get your small space more organized. And if you want even more organizing help, be sure to sign up for Get Organized Once and For All mini e-course. And go ahead and leave a comment and let us know your favorite small space organizing tips.